think it's time for another reaction video. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. You know, I was a little under the weather. You know, my voice was crazy. I sounded like Pop Smoke. I was coughing and sneezing. Nobody wanted to see that. Nobody wanted to hear that. But I'm back. I feel better. And what better way to come back than with a reaction video? I also want to give a big shout out to everybody that participated in my Alia 20th anniversary video. I appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you for participating and trusting me in the process. And anybody that supported, anybody that watched it, thank you. You know, I put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it. And, you know, like I said, like I said all the time, it's all for Aaliyah. It's all for Aaliyah. I just hit 8K subscribers. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. And if y'all didn't know, MTV recently released some unreleased footage from Aaliyah's MTV Diary. Mostly when she was in Paris. A whole, like, 10 minute plus footage that was unreleased. So I'm like, what better way, what better video to react to than that one? Y'all ready? Let's go. Uh, come on, Alia. Yeah. Yeah, Je come on. suis something. No. J'ai yes. 22 <laughs> ans. Merci beaucoup. The thing is, I feel like Alia was a fast learner. So give her time. She would have knew French. She would have knew French. I like Paris. I think Paris is a very romantic, beautiful city. So I'm looking forward to, um, should I speak like I've we've done it already? I should speak like we've, we've been there already, you know, you right? Can, you, you, can sort of, you can do it like it's already been done. Like, okay, cool. So, um... See, look, even behind the scenes, she was a perfectionist. Okay. Wanted to make sure she got everything right. You know? we she are was now, like, let me direct you right okay, now. Okay, first of all, I hope I don't look too bad. I just woke up. We're now in Paris. Um, <laughs> it was a decent flight, it stuck a little bit. Just imagine, all the traveling, they, she worked hard for this album promo. She worked really hard for this. said it was seven hours. Oh, right? seven hours. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm delirious. Um, your schedule, basically what was your schedule like in Paris? Well, um... Another country, another time zone, all of that. A few radio stations. Uh, a lot of TV interviews, a lot of in-persons, uh, hectic, you know, international. They want to kind of get it all done and as quickly as possible, being that they don't have you, you know, all year round. So it's understandable, but it can be quite tired. You could tell she was tired. Just imagine all those interviews in another country. But like the professional she was, she dealt with it. Uh, yeah, he can't just be slaving. He's showing out now. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And the thing with, with her glam squad, you could tell that they were really friends, you know? It's dope to go to another country and meet those people and to know that you can touch those people, you know, people that are miles and miles away from where you are and they know every single song, they dress like you, you know, they, they, they love you and it's like the illest feeling to have those people really be hardcore fans. Music is universal. They don't know what she said. Some of them don't know what she's saying in her songs, but she touched them. You just think about it. Aaliyah was well on her way to becoming an international superstar. Like, not just a little, she was becoming an international superstar. Oh, yeah. You want Erica in here or no? Oh, they can come in if they want to talk. Okay. Anybody can come in. She already doing the MTV Diary. Like, let all the cameras come in, right? Video! This part, I love this part. I love this part. <laughs> it's just nice to see her having fun, you know, without that persona of being like the sunglasses and the soft spoken. Just to see her goofy side, that's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. I do, and I'm always thinking about my image and how it grows with me, you know, how it's grown from, from when I was 15 to now being 22. And uh, image is important, you know, that's how people see you. You know? Imagine all the pictures of Aaliyah that haven't been released yet. So, how was the day? You know, the little goodbye. Oh, well, you know, it really wasn't that bad. Um, the hardest part was the fact that I didn't get any sleep, you know what I mean? But people were really nice. Interviews went well. I love those blue tinted glasses, too. You know what I'm saying? It's just something she just wore 
to match her shirt, I guess. But I love I, like her everyday wear is like fashionable even now. Leave with. Well, I hope that when people see this, you know, they can get a sense of who I am. But um, in the midst of working. Like still taking pictures. Like, I'm telling you, Aliyah was well on her way to becoming an international superstar. Well, wow. have you done an album release to uh, a listening party in that year's course? Brothers and no, is that what this is? <laughs> like, I don't even know what this really is. It's just like a party. I mean, I guess it's album release. I guess it's. I don't really believe in album release parties. At least not where I'm concerned. I've never done them before. I love. I love. We get to see that side of her. You know. To her, it's just a, she just going out to a party, listening to her songs. It is what it is, you know? I've always been a bit of a kind of reserved person. And I like the simple things in life, you know? So if I can just stay home and my friends come over, I go to their place and we just hang out and we laugh and we watch movies, I'm really content. Best way for me to deal with fame is having that personal life and having that personal time. That's why it's very important to me and that's why it's sacred to me. Exactly. This is what she always talked about. It depends on what mood I'm in because I like to do really fun things. Like, I like to go to the arcades because, uh, like I said, it's those moments where I really feel like I'm a kid again. That's an important thing to have when you're in this business. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of glamour, it's a lot of work, and you can get lost, you know, so you owe it to yourself to, to have some, some, uh, some reality. I mean, it's nice to be famous and do this and do that, but you gotta have that personal life, like, live life like a regular person. And that's another thing about Aaliyah. She was famous, you saw her on the TV, da da da, you heard her on the radio. But she also liked to have fun. I mean, a lot of them get to a certain level and then they just lose it. But you know, Aaliyah just like to have fun. How do I get behind her? It's a circle. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they go under, and they go under. under, my dear. And then over. Oh. Just think about it. In all my years, I've never been on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> I've never been on a Ferris wheel. Never. Yeah, if they let me, I'll take it. Okay, don't drop this. Oh, I know, right? Wouldn't that be devastations? Maybe I don't want that response. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, how does it flop? Well, it, oh. it goes like this. And it goes like that. You yeah. flip yeah. under. So. And I love how much of a, like a, how adventurous she was, you know? You would think that she would be like, oh, oh, Aaliyah was just like, oh, let's do it. You know, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love seeing these sides of her that we never saw all the time. I zone out a lot. Sometimes I can be in the middle of a conversation and then I'm like this. You know, I'm just, I, I, I zone out and I can't really help it. But uh, I'm always, I don't know. Thinking about everything. Also, someone that likes to make everyone around me happy. So, uh, there's a lot going on in Aliyah's head, for sure. All this, you think about all the stuff Aliyah been through in her career. How could you not zone out at sometimes? Always think about what went through Aliyah's head. Not even back then, but just in general. All her success. You have. I, I can imagine what she thought about. Love the babies. She was a sweetheart. What'd she do? She said she wanted to say, Look at you, no, you're so beautiful. She was scared to, um, to come over. So sweet. Oh my God. Work. My work makes me happy. I've been doing this all of my life. Literally all of my life. And, and can I just say, I loved Alia's look here. You know, she had the, the bang, but it was like a fresh style of it. You know, it wasn't the one in a million era. It was like a fresh new version of her bang. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know, I am truly blessed to wake up every morning and do something that I love. There's nothing better than that, you know? <laughs> Man, he's tall. <laughs> Damn. Sometimes I'm like, wow, you know, this is amazing. Is it real? Is it, you know? And I loved, like, her, her, she had that nice bronze skin tone, the red lip. This look right here was everything. I just wish you got to see her whole outfit right here. And it, I'm, sometimes I'm taken aback and I'm just like, you know, dang, I can't believe it. Yep, she did it. In her 22 years, she achieved more than people do in a lifetime. Pamper, uh, pamper her. <laughs> Eric, I got to pamper her. Right. Her has to be pampered. <laughs> She's got to be pampered. Hey, let's play. Let's play. 
look, look. Look how close they were. She was even talking like them, you know, like using a lingo and stuff. Like, I love seeing this out of her. I love this. Thank you, MTV. I love this. Yes. Now we're at more promotion for the next three weeks in New York. But hey, it's all good. Album's coming out. I'm happy. All right. Goodbye. The part at the end was so bittersweet because back then, you know, her album was coming out for the first time. But 20 years later, Aliyah's subtitle album is coming out again as a re-release on all streaming services. So it's like that part could be even used today because September 10th, Aliyah's subtitle is coming out on all streaming services. But anyways, guys, that was my reaction to Aliyah in Paris. MTV, thank you for the footage. Thank you for that unreleased footage. I know y'all got some more. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. And don't, don't, y'all, we know that she was on set with Aliyah when she did More Than a Woman. We still waiting on that More Than a Woman behind the scenes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But I love that footage. Thank you, MTV, for releasing it. It's so great. It's so wonderful to see Aliyah and her natural element. You know, you get to see the glitz and the glamour, but you get to see her behind the scenes with her brother, her glam squad. You know, even talking to the interview lady, you get to see her like, you know, am I doing this right? Oh, what you want me to say? Oh, what? Oh, okay. You know, like, I love seeing that side of her, the spontaneous side, the funny side, you know, like the random, you know what I'm saying? The jokey side, like the, you know, like that. I love seeing that side of her because it's like, we got that persona of Aaliyah where she's so cool and chill and down to earth, as you can see. But you also get to see that she was goofy. She was silly. She loved to crack jokes. You know what I'm saying? Footage like that is what Aaliyah fans need. Especially in this time, you know, where everything else going on. But to celebrate Aaliyah, this is another chance to see another side of her that we don't get to see so often, you know? Because, you know, a lot of us was used to the... What's up? I'm Aliyah. Thank you for watching my videos. I love you all. Da, da, da. Thanks to the fans. What's up? This is Aliyah. I love you all. Thank you, MTV. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, we was used to seeing that side of Aliyah. You know, the chill side of Aliyah. This side of Aliyah. We was used to seeing this side of Aliyah. But it was nice to see the. Boop, 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 you know? <laughs> like the side of her. Well, she was just having fun with her crew, being a regular 22-year-old young woman, you know? Instead of Aaliyah, the singer, Aaliyah, the entertainer. That's what I love the most about this. It was refreshing. Every Any type of new Aaliyah footage is refreshing, especially footage where you get to see her chill, having fun, just hanging out, doing regular people's, you know what I'm saying? Not just interviews, promotion, just to see her having fun and just see the behind the scenes of her like, all right, oh, uh, another interview, okay, all right, you know, like, you get to see her real emotions. So anyways, guys, again, what did y'all think of that footage? What other footage from MTV would y'all like to see that's unreleased? Because y'all know, MTV and Aaliyah, they got a long history together. You know, in her seven year career, MTV got a lot of footage of Aaliyah that probably has never seen the light of day probably in somebody's folder or somebody's flash drive somewhere in the Viacom offices, Viacom offices. So MTV, come on, let's let, thank you for that. But we know y'all got some more. Don't be scared to release it, okay? Let's not wait until January 16th and August 25th. Just release it, you know? A 40 minute video, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. We will watch it, trust, we will watch it. But anyways, guys, Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. That was my reaction to Ali and Paris, to the unreleased MTV footage that they released on the 25th of August. And I cannot wait for more. So anyways, guys, please let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.